right? A decade ago, this tiny fox was on the brink of extinction. We got a mama here. Can I see your teeth? Now, the island fox is back, and it's coming off the endangered species list. Mama, do you want to go? Why don't you go find those pups, huh? <laughs> it's an exceptional success to be able to take a species off the endangered species list, particularly the fox. It's the fastest mammal recovery in the history of the Endangered Species Act. For years, scientists like Christina Bozer have been working to restore the ecological balance to the fox's home. You feel better now? Santa Cruz and the other Channel Islands off the coast of Southern California. Santa Cruz Island is a very special place. It's the most biodiverse island in the California islands. It has a great history of human use as well as a number of really special species. Humans have used the island for ranching, military operations, and recreation, bringing new species into a fragile ecosystem. Scientists are now doing everything they can to protect and restore the island's ecological balance by waging war against the invaders, from destructive ants to feral pigs. These were pigs that had been brought over by ranchers around 1850 or so, and they attracted golden eagles, which were a non-native predator. And this golden eagle population grew to the point that it was uh, taking not just pigs, but also consuming baby foxes. Unable to cope with the golden eagles, the population crashed to fewer than 100 foxes. It's pretty clear what we had to do to try to save the island fox. Get rid of the feral pigs, all of them. That task fell on a New Zealand-based crew of hunters, which killed over 5,000 swine. Conservationists captured the golden eagles and sent them back to the mainland. The remaining foxes went into a captive breeding program. Amazingly, it worked. The fox population soared. A decade later, from that last golden eagle capture, we're seeing over 2,000 foxes on Santa Cruz Island. Now, scientists are trying to restore ecological balance to other parts of the island, taking on the invasive Argentine ant. Argentine ants remove pollen from flowers. They also kill other native ants and generally can affect the ecology of a place from the bottom up. So Bozer concocted a way to control them from the top down. This helicopter drops what Bozer calls sugar balls of death onto Argentine ant populations across the island's rugged terrain. We wanted to do an eradication, and that had never been done on an area of this size or scale or scope. Argentine ants will stop feeding if they detect a toxin, but because the balls contain so little poison, the ants don't know what hit them. We haven't been able to find any Argentine ants in months, and it's pretty exciting. We're also starting to see native ants return to these locations. Pest controllers are now using Bozer's Argentine ant control method around the world. Ants maybe aren't as cute as foxes, but I think that we can also contribute to conservation by studying some of the maybe less charismatic animals like the ants. And Bozer says conservationists can apply the lessons of the fox recovery and ant eradication to other imperiled species. So we as a society made a decision to protect the island fox. She's in very good condition. And I think in the future, climate change is going to threaten a few other species that we care about. That protection will require constant vigilance to safeguard the island from invading species. We are obligated to keep a pulse on the population for at least five years after the foxes are delisted. This means that we'll continue to figure out how many foxes are out in the wild. We'll also keep track on their survival rate. And we'll also make sure that we're vaccinating these foxes because currently the biggest threat to this population is introduced diseases from the mainland. Pretty little girl? Yeah, do you want to get going? <laughs>